finally, it's finally here. And it's finally happened. We've got the first and probably only good Asian horror movie of 2020. But that's probably because this is more of a thriller with horror elements. But I'll take whatever I can get after this year. Hi, I'm the Artie Dance from Asian Film Fans and welcome to this review of the Korean horror thriller, The Call, now showing on Netflix. So Yeon returned to the house where she grew up in, a large mansion away from the city. On her first night while waiting for a phone call about her missing mobile phone, she receives an unexpected call instead. Chalking it up to the wrong number, she doesn't think anything of it. But the calls keep coming, and the voice on the other end sounds desperate. It's a woman called Young Suk, and she tells So Yong her mother is trying to kill her. As they chat more on the phone, the two women realize they're in the same house, only separated by a 20 year time difference. Young Suk is in 1999, where So Yong is in 2019. Young Suk discovers she can change the future by saving So Yong's father. The favor is returned to her when So Yong provides Young Suk with the details of how she dies, in the hopes she can avoid being killed. But doing so has even more catastrophic effects on the future, not only affecting the lives of the two young women, but everyone else around them. I'm not gonna lie here, as far-fetched as the story is, it's really enjoyable. And for the most part, the movie sticks to its rules, which takes a little bit of time to understand. If you are like me and have been waiting, hoping, desperately for a good horror movie this year, then the only disappointment here is that it isn't a complete horror movie. Rather, horror elements are used throughout. This is very much a thriller, and a good one at that. Working in the movie's favour is a small cast of characters that make things easy to keep track of, a relatable location that's shared between both protagonists, and a time-bending storyline that wouldn't look out of place in a sci-fi movie. Spooky phone calls aren't a new thing for horror or thriller movies, but the hook here is the integration of the old-fashioned landline into the plot, issuing the mobile phone due to the time differences between the characters. If you ever needed a reason to disconnect your landline, this movie will give it to you. Without giving too much away, and for those who have seen the movie, you will know what I mean, it's the handful of scenes where the present time is changed by a past action that are visually impressive. There isn't too much in the way of CGI or other effects in this movie. They seem to be very much relegated to these handful of scenes, and it makes the movie better for it. The progression and subsequent mental decline of Young Suk is portrayed brilliantly by actress Jong Seo Jung. Watching the 180 her character takes throughout the life of the movie sure does make for uncomfortable viewing, but she's exactly the kind of character you want in a good horror thriller. And just because it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway, of the two movies in 2020 that Park Shin Hee was in, this and Hashtag Alive, this is the far better one. While the ending, or indeed the final act of the movie, aren't disappointing, it's perhaps the very last shot of the movie which might frustrate you as a viewer. It seems long gone are the days of producers satisfied in creating a movie that will stand on its own two feet. Not everything needs to be a franchise, and I'm hoping I'm wrong about this. All that I can say is that it took exactly 11 months, but we finally got the horror movie we were looking for from Asia in 2020. And I'm okay with the fact that this is more of a thriller than a horror, because that's the element that most likely made this movie something you should watch. My recommendation on if you should watch this? I recommend it. If you've seen it, what did you think? Thank you for watching this review. Please don't forget to press the like button and consider subscribing to support the channel. 